movie has a lot to do with forgiveness, but mm -hmm. also kind of knowing when to stop and take care of yourself. And you've both been really open about mental health. How do you guys, you know, take care of yourself and make sure you know when to stop or when to keep going? Wow. Well, it's hard because you the the the, the short advice would be just remind yourself, but part of the problem with any sort of mental instability is that the mental instability makes it so you can't remind Drives yourself. You yeah. it's, it's, yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so um, it's a bit of a trick. Um, for me, like just struggling with anxiety and depression, I feel like the reminder comes when I have bad experiences, like a bad day or I feel like I'm too angry or too sad, any extreme because I like a more neutral, or I'm okay swinging up on the happy <laughs> scale, but I'd rather not go down the dark one. And so when I have, uh, when I am feeling a lot of discomfort, I go, hmm, am I exercising enough? Am I, I, I just sort of do a check-in. Have I taken enough? What have I overloaded myself? Where's this coming from? Because like the bad experiences for me don't often just happen. I manifested them because I committed to too much or I haven't done self-care or I haven't been working out or I haven't been eating right. So I check in when I'm feeling very uncomfortable. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. That's really good. And I just look for the Great root self -awareness. of self-awareness. Uh, I, I don't know if I have an actual formula for it. I, I just... Uh, you know, you go through the idea of, the, oh, one day at a time, and, you know, and that's a, that's a great formula in the beginning, I think. And I, I don't know if it sustains as, as much as some of the guys would, would tell you. Uh, I think eventually it's just, well, you just got to get it. You just got to, you know, figure it out. <laughs> but, um, but maybe that's, maybe I'm being cavalier. I, I don't know. I mean, you know, whatever formula works for you is the one you need. Offhand, I would say to most people, set small goals. Uh, you know, don't make a promise to yourself you can't keep. You know, just keep it small. You want to plant some begonias one day. Just make sure you plant them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that day will probably feel like a good day. And, and you don't have to, you know, run through the, the thing of letting yourself down so much. I think we all, we all suffer from, I've done it again. I've, I've destroyed myself today. And, and that, that shame that will sucks. eat you alive. Yeah, so just exactly. staying conscious and going like, oh, I have these issues. And everyone's got issues. And these are mine. And that's okay. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's it. And once you have kids too, it's like, well, we got to take care of this. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 there's not as much time to, you know, really, you know, dive into all those issues. Yeah. You guys filmed in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I'm Jamaican. Oh, are you really? Oh, yeah. Cool. So I was really hyped about it. Um, what was your all's favorite part of filming down there? My favorite part of filming down there was not filming. Oh, we went to, we went to, I went to <laughs> dinner with um, 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 Lauren and Seth at uh, Goldeneye, which was great. And I had a magnificent dinner, and I would go on that water, and I just thought, this is life. When we could just experience it, because the temperature was perfect, and we would sit oh, on the beach at the Jamaican yeah. Inn, which yeah. there are no kids allowed, which is very exciting <laughs> for people with toddlers. That was a neat four days, wasn't it? It just sort of like, <laughs> There hmm. was luminescent uh, something or other, luminescent algae in the water coming up from around the bay, and it was just breathtaking at night to watch the water glitter. Yeah. 